Hi there, thanks for joining me. In this video, I'll be showing you four ways to draw a heart in Illustrator. Hearts are one of the most universal symbols in the world today, and whether we're looking to express love through a chat message or double tapping to express our pleasure over an Instagram photo, hearts pervade our experience of everyday life. So, it's no wonder that the heart emoji or its variations continue to be among the top 10 most used emojis in the world today. The main purpose of this video isn't necessarily to show you how to draw a particular geometric shape, but to teach you how to actually see shapes and pick up some techniques for drawing more complex geometric objects just by breaking them down to their most primitive forms and building from there. Here, we already have a heart which we will use as a study reference. The first thing to notice when we see a shape like this is that it is made up of two circles and a triangle. We will use those shapes as the foundation and then modify and build from there. So let's draw an ellipse. Hold the shift key to keep it a perfect circle. Now while holding the outer option key, click and drag on the circle to duplicate it. We will adjust the distance between both circles till we get an intersection point that isn't too shallow or too deep. And I think this looks fine. Next, we'll draw a triangle. For this, we'll use the pen tool. The smart guides make it easy to draw using the points of intersection with our shapes. If you don't see smart guides, be sure to go into view and make sure smart guides is checked or just press Ctrl or Command U on your keyboard. Now select all three shapes and unite them from the pathfinder. If you don't see the pathfinder, you can activate it under window pathfinder or just press Ctrl or Command Shift F9 on your keyboard. With our shapes united, we can now get rid of these extra points by clicking on them with the pen tool. So far, we're getting close. We just need to adjust the handles on both sides so we can get a smoother curve. This is where it might get tricky because both sides need to be exactly the same. Hold the controller command key to quickly switch to the direct selection tool and click to select this left anchor point to display the handles drag the bottom handle until you get a curve you are satisfied with. We will do the same for the right side of the shape, but there's an obvious problem here. The smart guides don't seem to recognize the left handle, so we can't make it exactly the same unless maybe you've got cybernetic eyes. So to help, we will use guides. With the previous anchor point selected, press Ctrl or Command R to display the rulers. Then click and drag from the top to get a horizontal guideline that snaps to the handle. Again, smart guide to the rescue. Now we can adjust the handle exactly the same way. To hide the guides, go to View, Guides, Hide Guides, or just deselect everything and click the Hide Guides button in the properties panel. If you need to adjust the position of your guideline or even just delete it, click on this button to unlock guides and manipulate it as you would any other shape. Now we have a pretty good looking heart shape. For the second method, we will take advantage of the fact that the shape is perfectly symmetrical, which means we can focus on drawing just one side and then flipping it to get a perfect symmetric shape. Like before, I'll draw an ellipse and with the pen tool, draw a triangle. This time, it's a right angled triangle. Merge the shapes, get rid of the extra points. But before we go in to modify any anchor points, we will have to mirror the shape so we can see the other side. To do that, go into effects distort and transform, transform. The first thing we'll do is check the box to reflect on the x-axis. If you've got the preview active, 
you should see the shape flip horizontally. Next, we'll set the reference point to the right so the shape flips from the right instead of through the middle. So far, it is still a ghost shape, so we will increase the number of copies to 1, then click OK. In reality, we still have the one shape. What we see on the right is just a projection from the effect we just applied. I'll show you how to turn the projection into a real object shortly. But for now, whatever we do on the left side affects the right. This allows us to visualize the shape as a whole. Now we can adjust the handles as we want. When you're satisfied with the results, go to Object, Expand Appearance to apply the effect and turn it into a real shape. We can see that after ungrouping, we are able to move both shapes separately. I'll just nudge the right shape a little to the left so the depression isn't too deep. Then select both shapes and click on the Shape Builder tool. This is easily one of my favorite tools in Illustrator. It works just like the Pathfinder but is more interactive. If I click and drag across these shapes, it'll unite them. But if I hold the Alt or Option key and drag across these extras, it deletes them. So there we have another beautiful heart shape. This third method is really cool because we're going to take advantage of the golden ratio. If you've never heard about it, just do a quick Google search. It's the mathematical value connected to beauty in nature as we know it. I'll attach a link to help you learn more about it in the description below. Anyway, when you look at a perfect geometric heart, you'll notice that it is actually a square rotated 45 degrees. With that in mind, we'll draw a perfect square. This time, I'll just click on the artboard and set the values. It could be of any arbitrary value, but for the sake of clarity, I'll set the size to 200 points and click OK. Now, go to the width in the properties panel. Make sure this button to maintain height and width proportions is disabled. Then divide the value you see there by 1.618, which is the number for the golden ratio. Now the square is a rectangle. With the direct selection tool, select the two top anchor points and round them out completely. Rotate the shape 45 degrees to the left. You can hold the shift key to constrain your rotation to 45 degree increments. Now reflect the shape horizontally and click copy. At this point, we'll just position the shape using the anchor points and smart guides to match the position. Finally, unite the shapes with the pathfinder. What we get is a clean geometrically accurate heart. This last method is a variation of the previous one. Just draw a rectangle. You want to make it pretty tall, then rotate it by 45 degrees. Next, use the reflect dialog to create a flipped copy of the shape. With the direct selection tool, select the top two anchor points and round them out now, notch the shape until you have a reasonably good depression point. Then with the Pathfinder tool, merge and subtract accordingly. And you should have something close to a perfect geometric heart. This is easily the easiest, most interactive method, but in terms of geometric balance and mathematical accuracy, I'll vote for the golden ratio method. I'd like to know what you think and you can drop your thoughts in the comments below. More importantly, I truly hope you've learned some new techniques for seeing shapes and breaking them down to their most primitive forms. I'll encourage you to pay more attention to the objects around you, especially man-made objects, logos and even some objects in nature too, and you'll notice they can be drawn from basic geometric shapes. One of the things you quickly realize is that there are many ways to skin the cut. 
you just need to find out which is the most efficient process for your needs. And I just realized that that wasn't a very good metaphor considering we're out here drawing hearts, but you get the point. If you haven't, kindly hit the subscribe button and notification icon so you don't miss out on my next video. Until next time, try something new every day and thanks for watching.